Misa, you have the floor. Yeah, those were some really beneficial points from Sister Hiba. And uh, even what you said about your grandfather, mashallah. I mean, this is, this is the state of affairs. We want everyone, every sect, every religion to think critically and question their own religion and their own scholars. But we don't want to do the same thing. Uh, now, I just wanted to highlight that, you know, every, every sect has this standard line of argumentation. When anyone stands up and questions something or thinks critically, if it's a normal person, they go like, come on, have you even studied Arabic? You don't even know the basics of Arabic. How can you talk about all this, all these things? Our scholars have studied for 80 years, you know, I mean, how can they be wrong? Now, if, if you have someone who actually speaks Arabic, who's an expert in Arabic, then they'll be like, come on, just because you know Arabic doesn't mean that you can comment on religious matters. These are, you know, very deep discussions about theology and fiqh and ilmul rijal. Okay, now you have someone who has actually studied theology, ilmul rijal, ilmul hadith. He has memorized the Quran. They're like, come on, just because you've memorized the Quran and studied all of these subjects on your own doesn't mean you can actually comment on these things. You need to study in the hausa. Okay, then you have some people who have studied in the hausa and they say these things. They're like, come on, this is just a low level scholar. Our Maraji have studied all these things for years. And, you know, how can they be wrong? And then you actually have some Maraj and Mushtahideen who say these things. Then they run out of arguments and they're like, yeah, he's, he's just a deviant. You know, this was a fringe <laughs> guy. He was a deviant. He's already been refuted. So, I mean, if they don't want to believe, they will never believe. They'll have all these arguments against you. But in the end, they'll be like, yeah, this guy's just a deviant, you know. Thank you so much for that. But yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, that's the, those are the steps that we've gone through and those are the steps that we are seeing. So... I mean, very well put. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, I just wanted to make one more point. They have these tags they throw around when they don't have answers. So this is, if I mean, whoever watches Engineer Muhammad Ali Mirza knows this. Uh, he says that, you know, when you when you talk about Ahlul Bayt, you get tagged as a Shia. Oh, this guy's a Shia, you know, he's being paid by Iran. When you talk about Tawheed, they say, oh, this guy's a Wahhabi. Uh, when you talk about the love of the Prophet, they say, oh, this guy's a Barelvi, he's being paid by them. You talk about the Sahaba, they say, you know, this guy's a Deobandi. So how can one guy be Shia, Wahhabi, Deobandi, Barilvi at the same time? That's why he says, na me Wahhabi, na me Babi, me hu Muslim, ilmi kitabi. I'm either a Wahhabi, nor am I a Babi who blindly follows scholars. I'm an ilmi kitabi Muslim, you know? Yeah. No, that's, that's, that's amazing.